Hello, my name is Jitu Abraham and in this video I'd like to show you how you can actually save the waveform data that you need onto your scope. So on the RTO series we uh, currently have a um, LVDS signal that's configured and I've got some measurements going on such as rice time onto the display there. Now if you wanted to you can actually save the settings that you need for a later date by just going to save and recall and in here you're presented with the user settings on the top there where you can actually just very quickly go into the save sets there to save the settings and recall that for a later date. Or you have the one file utility so with that you can actually save in a zip file the, the settings, the, the trace data that you would need and also a screenshot all into one file so that makes it a lot more efficient in that way. Uh, but if you did want to save them separately, you have uh, the waveform area where you can actually save the trace data that we're seeing. So you would select the channel that's of interest and also maybe choose uh, which part of the waveform you wanted to save. So if you have a large trace, you could then choose to manually choose which time you wanted to or go into the full waveform. And then you could then choose what format you would want to save that in. So either binary or CSV, for example and then choose either to hit the save button or the save as to define where exactly in the, the hardware that you actually wanted to save it. So either into the internal hard disk or like I have got it connected into a USB stick here. So you can define where you want it to and also define what the file name should be. So you can bring up the on-screen keyboard and change that as well. Something else that you might want to do is save perhaps the, the results that we're seeing down, uh, down here at the bottom. So that can be done using the numeric results. And in here, as you can see, we've only got one set of results, so only that is ticked. But then you can again, in the same way, choose what format, where you want to save it. And for CSV specifically, you can choose the delimiter that you have for each of the data that's coming through. You also have the flexibility to customize the auto naming. So you can actually define where the default path would be for actually saving all your data. So that could be defined in here. So it could be into the internal drive or a USB stick, for example, or you can have prefixes on or how the file naming should look like. And you can configure all of that in, in that one menu just there. And finally, perhaps, uh, the all important on how you actually save a screenshot. So uh, we have one button that you can actually configure. So if you press that, you can uh, directly get into your default path uh, a screenshot. And then that will be in, in the format that you choose, so a PNG or a JPEG if you like. Uh, and that allows you to keep it into reports and so on. And then you can configure in things like if you want the, the color as it looks like or in inverted mode and so on. So you can save things like into reports and so on. So there you go, a quick view, if you may, on how you can actually save that, those valuable data uh, for a later date or for going into reports.